Pity! Uh, uh, Yahoo! Hi there, panty boy! A familiar face appeared at the top of my cell. A blonde girl with golden eyes. As I watched, she flipped over and landed in front of the cell, waving her hands at me. From the side of the cell, another girl appeared. A wry grin on her face. Ah, it's the panty thieves. If you're here to reclaim your hostages, they're already back where they belong. What the? No. Yep. We saw the guards go into the bath and swipe the maid <sighs> silk again. Look. With that, she pulled out a pair of lacy silken underwear from her sleeves and stretched it out with her thumbs, showing off her panty prize to me. You came all the way back here to snatch the underwear again? And I'm not sure Sunda Tyrant fits that label. <laughs> the cuter with a katana, you'd be surprised. I happen to believe that she is as innocent as one can be. She seems far too uptight to let any man touch her. As for returning to the village, we have debt to settle. I smiled weakly as I wondered what the fox meant by debt. I'm not sure what this debt of yours might be, but I think you'd better leave before those two return. You don't seem to be on friendly terms with the samurai girls. Wait, if he doesn't know about it, we can just leave, Onisama. Michael. That's not how we do things. Young man, your actions allowed us to escape our earlier predicament without harm. This places us in your debt, for which we are now repaying you. Marco, do the magic. Okay. I like the lag there. <laughs> the younger girl walks forward and places her hands upon the locked door of the cell. She began mumbling something that I couldn't even begin to understand, and her hands <sighs> glowing brightly. Oops. <laughs> so, we're good, we're good. And she Can crashed you, the you, game. Why do you keep <laughs> no. killing everything? I might <laughs> clicked on accident. And uh, there's no, there's no interaction. Just, just like different world. Oh, it's the girls wielding weapons, and now fox girls using magic. Next on the list, I'm gonna find a talkative magical sword and end up destined to save the world. It really holds so. though. <laughs> yeah. That said, I was curious to see what this magic would do to the lock keeping me imprisoned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the glow flared for a moment before quickly fading. There was a hiss and then a sizzle as the lock dripped to the floor in a mess of melted metal. Well you'll do Michael Chain. You did very well. Relax for now. All when right. did that become her voice again? When I was oh, like, there's four know. women, I'm gonna make one of them a dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. As you do. Yep. Also, it actually fits her character somewhat. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be the most surprised about. The fact that a girl just melted a steel lock, or that I'm starting to accept that this is normal. This level of magic is extraordinary. Michael Chan is quite gifted. But as I said, we're here to settle our dead. If you would like, we can escort you back to the forest where we first encountered you. <coughs> I do, however, suggest that you decide quickly. The guards do not bathe for long. I should know. I have observed them for a while. <laughs> well, I don't plan on sticking around. So I'll gladly accompany the two of you out of here. Maybe I'll be able to find my way back home. Lead the way, peeping Tammy. Machiko. Sakurano Machiko. Not Tammy. Takahiro. But I suggest we keep it to the introduction for later. Very well then, Takakun. Follow me. As I was stepping out of the cell, the sound of a familiar voice boomed in the distance. Thieves, crafty fox keep do mix. I'll skin you alive. I think that's our cue to get out of here. 
And with that, the three of us darted out of the prison. <laughs> and that's pretty much what happened. According to the village elder, there's supposed to be a shrine somewhere in the forest. It must be the same one I visited before I got caught up in this mess. Goodness, that sounds like a terrible situation. Dang it, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. Oh, I know that spirits such as Tessuri enjoy playing with people, but this seems a little cruel of her. I would speak with her myself, but we, uh, fox spirits are not allowed near the shrine. Uh -huh. I thought the reason we never go there was because <coughs> you get all flustered whenever two chimes around. Sh sh shut up, Michael. Huh, I didn't realize a panty thief could get embarrassed like that. Maybe you two could show me the way to the shrine? Somehow the layout of this forest seems different from my world. Which pretty much meant that Aria's map was useless now. You do not understand. There is more to the ways of us spirits than meets the eye, Takakun. I will try to navigate you to the shrine. But if Tusura does not want us there, then we will simply not go there. It's gonna happen again, I accidentally did it. <laughs> McKinley, what are you <laughs> doing? I'm accidentally right clicking. And like, I hold it down, but I can't stop it. <laughs> the only place we can navigate to directly are our homes and the village. I can use the game magic, but that takes a super long time to cast. And unless I concentrate really hard, it usually ends up just taking us someplace, uh, not fun. I think I'll prefer taking the ground route, but thanks for the offer, Maiko chan Was it? That's right. Sakurano Maiko, at your service. Yay! My first human friend! Little girl. Not that I doubt your navigation skills or anything, but didn't we cross this path a while ago? Oh, you're right. Why aren't you back here, Onisama? Oh, I thought you were leading the way. Wait, I think we've turned this way. Cut through the trees here, we might... Oh. The girl seemingly disappeared out of sight as if she... Uh, as she stepped in between the two tall trunks, only to be followed by a loud splash. Boy, oh shoot, I clicked twice. <laughs> oh wait, no I didn't. Uh, no, you're good. <laughs> I ran towards the trees and looked down to see the girl arms flailing wildly, neck deep in a slow-moving river. God damn it, just, this just exists so she can be wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Onisama, Onisama, quick, please. You have to help her. I'm begging you. Oh, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Just please save her. Help! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look that deep, you know. Don't tell me that your sister can't. Be a hero, motherfucker. <laughs> she can't swim. Neither of us can. Please, talk a hero, Sama. Please, rescue my sister! I guess I don't have a choice. Smiling weakly, I pulled off my jacket and dove into the river. The cold water sending shivers down my spine as I swam towards Homachiko, who, despite the lack of a strong current, was slowly disappearing under the water. Urged on by the worried shouts of Maiko, I tried to reach the girl as quickly as possible. It took me a few strokes before I reached her, but by that time I had grabbed a hold of her and pulled her out of the water. She had lost consciousness. She was not breathing. I felt my stomach drop. Dreadful thoughts of what might happen if I didn't do something began to fill my mind. But what in the world could I possibly do? CPR? Hi. 
I don't know what that is. She's not breathing. Help her. Please help her. Oh, Nishama, please wake up. Okay, but I need to concentrate. Can you find something to dry her off with? Right. Great. A mage without a revive spell. As if trying to steal my nerves for what I was about to do, I muttered those words just before leaning in. All I could remember from my first day of training was that the patient had to be in a so-called recovery position, and that I had to blow air into their mouth and push down on their chest. My heart pounded faster and faster as I looked oh. down at the fox girl. I could feel my cheeks heating up as they blushed right across my face. Clumsily, I put her into what I hoped was the right position, and slowly I lowered myself towards her face. My lips parted. <laughs> I'm so glad. No, that really, I swear I told I asked for the uncensored version. <laughs> that is clearly censored. Maybe McKinley. I'll get it for the next Sakura game. What? God dang it, McKinley. This is oh, him. <laughs> if you were this desperate for a kiss, you could have just asked. I know I'm, I'm a beautiful, exquisite creature, but pushing me into a river so you can play a hero is a bit too much, Takakoon. <laughs>